guys, so I'm going to be doing a collective haul of a whole bunch of stuff. I'm eagerly awaiting spring, and yes, I know I shouldn't be complaining about this cold weather because I do live in California, and like, it's like 60 degrees, and I, I think that's freezing. But I just can't wait for spring and summer and just warm colors, pastels. I'm wearing pink today, obviously. So I went ahead and got stuff that I'm going to be able to wear in springtime, and I totally can't wear it now, but I mean, at least it satisfied my spring craving. I went to MAC and the first thing I got is a lipstick. The lipstick is a cream cup and it's a cream sheen and it and it's just this pretty pretty pinky color. The next thing I got was a MAC cream color base and this one is in Tickle Me Pink. This was from the um, Sham... this was Stylishly Yours collection and it's just a legit hot pink. It's like that hot pink. So I went a little nail polish crazy. The first two polishes, I found this random beauty supply store right near my CVS, which I had no idea we had, and they had OPI and China Glaze for sale. So I got two, which is an OPI and a China Glaze, for eight bucks. Shut the front door, I can walk down to like CVS and get one of these, an OPI, for like nine dollars. I was like, damn, awesome. The first one is Four Leaf Clover, and this is by China Glaze. And it's not, it's coming off super blue on camera, which is really weird because it's the OPI in Banana Bandana. And I was planning on getting um, China Glaze's Lemon Fizz, but then I saw this and it was the exact same color and I was like, bomb.com, I'll just get that. And it's just a light yellow pastel. All the next polishes I ordered are China Glaze, which I ordered from Transline.com, which sells discounted China Glaze and OPI and SE, maybe, I think. I don't know, I'll link it in the down bar. So four of the polishes I got are from the Up Up and Away collection. So now I own like five out of the eight Up Up and Away collection, but I absolutely loved it, loved it so much. This first one is Sugar High. It is a hot neon neon pink. Super, super pretty. It's going to be awesome to wear in the summertime because it's just neon pink. The next one I got is Something Sweet, which is just this muted milky baby pink. She Keen, which is obviously just um, peachy orange color. Refresh Mint, which is just a mint green, which I am obsessed with this. I'm so excited to start wearing this. For Audrey, which I love, and it's the color of like a Tiffany box. And it matches my walls, which was the intent of my walls to match a Tiffany box. And I'm super excited, and I love this color. It's so pretty. And it's Watermelon Rind. And I was looking at OPS Catch Me In Your Net, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I saw the swatches of this, and I was like, this is 100 times prettier, and I am obsessed. It's so pretty. It's like this sparkly teal blue color. This is Sea Spray. And uh, Miss Jen Fabulous completely sold me on this color. I wasn't that sold on it until I saw her twit pics of it, and she talks about it. And it's like a pearlized baby blue color. It reminds me of like a less vibrant, more pastel version of What's With The Catitude. By so over ski week, I went to H&M and I only picked up one thing, but I absolutely love it. I've already worn it. I think it was around $12 and it's this salmon, hot salmon crop top. And I absolutely love crop tops. Yes, I'm one of those girls who'll wear crop tops. Sorry if that offends you. But I will never wear a crop top with leggings. I'm sorry, that just baffles me why people think that's an attractive idea. Who wants to see Saggy Jine? Um, nobody. Okay. So I had time to kill before a flight, so my mom and I stopped by Ross, which was near this little mall that was near the airport where we were going to fly on an airplane in the airport. Yeah, okay, I don't know why this is being so confusing. So I got this dress, and I thought it was super cute. It's, um, white, obviously. Um, it was like $12, like, excuse me, seriously, super, super cheap. I thought it was really cute. Um, it's just white, and it kind of has grecian -y. it just has dips down in the front. It's pretty short, but I could, like, still wear it, obviously. And then this whole back is, like, lacy. I recently went to Forever 21. I completely scored on the sale racks. Honestly, the Forever 21 that's now closest to me is, like, 15, 20 minutes away, probably like 15 minutes, and I had no idea they even had a sales section. And literally the entire bottom floor was like 50% off, like everything. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? So everything I bought, I got for $36 $30, in total, which is ridiculously insane. And I was super happy because typically like sale items at Forever 21 tend to be like butt ugly, but these are actually kind of cute. Well, not kind of cute, obviously cute, because I like them and I bought them. Yeah, okay, so the first thing I got is this dress and it was on sale for $5.99. They only had it in a size medium, but I like the baggier fit on me. $5.99. Seriously, originally $12.80. Which 
is not even bad, but it's cool. It's like this reddish coral color, and it's not, I don't obviously. And then I just have it a tie here, and I just cinch it and tie it at the waist. Um, so that's the top, and it's got these like little discs that hang down, and it's super pretty. It's this blue color, and it ties at the waist. And I absolutely love it. And it's super pretty. And the back is super cute. You can see me. Go. Yeah. This was $8.99. You're only $29.80, which is insane. And it's this tribally print dress. It looks super good on it. It looks disgusting, in my opinion, on the hanger. And it's got all this gold hardware down it. And it looks so freaking good on. I absolutely and the last thing I got from Forever 21 is a skirt. It's upside down or backwards or whatever. And it's just this. It's just black and white polka dots. I just wore this today. I want to say it was between like eight and twelve dollars. Basically feels like bathing suit material and I, I really like it. I think it's super cute. I went to DSW and I have a massive, massive, ow, massive bag. But it was also a store that was near the airport and I was on the hunt for prom shoes. Don't shoot me. I know I said I was going to wear my nude heels, which I would wear formal, but my mom and I are having a talk about this, and I'm tall. I'm like 5'8". My date is like 6 feet 6 1, so I don't really want to wear heels that make me substantially taller than him. I'd rather be like a little bit like obviously shorter. So I want to get like 2 inch heels, so I'm like 5'10", because then that works for everybody. But the other shoes I have are like 3, 4 inches. And these are places I'm going where I don't want to take my shoes off. Like in winter formal, I took my shoes off, obviously. Last year at prom, I took my shoes off. But this year, because I'm wearing a four length dress, if I take my shoes off, the dress will be hemmed to me wearing heels. So then my dress will be dragging on the ground and that is not happening. So my mom and dad were like, how about I get two inch wedges, like formal looking or wedges. And we just saw this too short and we were like, hey, let's pop in. And we popped in and I found a pair that I really, really like. Okay, scratch that. My mom found a pair. She's going to watch this and yell at me that I didn't give her credit. Credit to you, mom. You found these pairs of shoes in Shoemakers. And I got them in a size 10. Go me, not size 11. I tend to wear size 10 in open-toed shoes. And um, they're 100% handmade with love, obviously, from Italy. And I absolutely love them. These are what they look like. Oh my god, they're gold and it's got little discs on it. And they're not too high, which I really like. Honestly, you're not going to see my shoes at prom. I'm wearing a floor length dress. But my mom wanted me to have like more formal looking or wedges to wear with the dress by chance if it did show. And I like these a lot and they look super, super cute on. So I'm excited to wear those to prom. My mom also found this next pair of shoes and I fell in love with them. And I was like, mom, I wanna wear these to prom. And she was, they're not formal. Why do you wanna wear them? Like, because I'll wear them like every day in the summer. And finally she was like, oh my God, fine, we'll split the cost. So I was like, yes. So I got another pair of wedges, which are by Steve Madden and I am literally obsessed. I love them more than any other shoe I own. Okay, I know I have big feet, but like, obviously, it's like taking up the entire fucking screen with my massive Getty skis. But they're so cute. Oh my god. So cute. I'm obsessed. I love them so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of that stuff. I'm going to do a shout out to Sam and Zach from your book who watched my videos in yearbook today and they wanted me to mention them in a video. So hi guys, hope you're enjoying this video. And if this is the one you choose not to watch, it's kind of a fail.